weather. Goodbye, Bodhi River. Well, actually, this is not goodbye because he's still going to be in here getting out. But, but this bye, is it. So, my first week of sailing and it seems to be going really well. We have a nice day sail across to the Isle of Wight at Newport. Bo practices some tacking. Really enjoyable day. And then the next day, we set off and sail through the sun at the Needles and to Paul. Again, it was thoroughly enjoyable. Even though the start was a little bit rocky. Sailing to Paul. It's breaking. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I've backed up again. It's really stressful. Hour or so. Because we're too novice to come and tell you what we're doing. We should have blown out the fan. Following that boat there, because we know he's going to pull up. <laughs> yeah, we are. Here we see him. Out there. Hey, 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 she's gone off, you know. You're probably going to have a duck bit. <laughs> Sorry, Mum, the IS went off. We'll let you know when we're there. The sun was out, the seas were calm, the kids were happy, and we had some beautiful views. And then finally, after a beautiful day sail, we made it. We got to Paul. Woohoo! The anchoring was nice and easy off of Brown Sea Island down Blood Alley. It was lovely and quiet, easy access to the beaches. When the tide was out, the kids could literally wade ashore. And we had lots of fun practicing our skills in the tender, which we definitely need some practice, and the kids even did some parking, which they thoroughly really enjoyed. Hello. I didn't know you were there. Well, I am. I'm going to video you trying to get in here now. <laughs> oh Left hand. Both hands. Good little boat dog you are. Yes you are. Yeah, it looks very clear actually. After a day or so relaxing, we decided to go and explore Brown Sea Island, which is located right in the middle of Paul Harbour. It has really spectacular views over the Paul Harbour and the Purbeck Hills, which are really beautiful. It also has a thriving nature, natural habitats for um, lots of woodland animals and quite rare bird species and even the red squirrel. So the kids really enjoyed going climbing trees, just exploring getting to one with nature, seeing bugs and wildlife 
and they uh, fell in love with the very, very friendly chickens and deer there. And they really loved the um, peacocks, which were very, very tame and, and very beautiful to watch. As well as the interesting wildlife centre, we also learn about all the details of the past owners of the island. And that the fact the first ever scout camp was held there in 1907 was brilliant. The kids both are scouts, <laughs> well, scouts and cubs, and they both love it. So they were really thrilled with that bit and they went to the statue and read all the go. little things about it all. So yeah, it was pretty good. This is really a beautiful, rich and diverse island. Definitely worth a visit. If you haven't got a sailboat and you can't just sail out there, then you could be tree huggers like us. Get back to nature, catch the little ferry and go and explore for the day. You'll have a brilliant time. Nose. What, you don't fall off? I won't fall off. What are you Dream talking about? Are you taking a picture? No, I'm videoing you. I've been smiling all that time. <laughs> oh, right there. Make you smile. Can you? What, what footprints can you see? No idea. Lion. Deer. <laughs> I can't really Alligator. I can't really see them because it's I so... can see a fairy's tree down there. Look at the fairy's house down there, look. Where? See a little door. Where? I can't. You can. It's right there in the tree. Can't you see it? There. Yeah, there we go. See if I can see it. The bottom of the tree. Oh, I see that. I didn't know it was a door. Fairy door. Oh, she's running faster than you. You have to run then. Catch up. <laughs> Stop pushing me there. <laughs> That's enough. <laughs> Don't fall off. Yeah. No. Oh, this is so fun. <laughs> Spin about the other way. Spin about the other way. There we go. There we go. had a nice weather window for the next day with some nice mild winds so we set off nice and early for what we thought would be a nice easy laid back mild sow. Could we have been further from the truth? Leaving Pool and a nice three days anchor at Pool. Didn't really get to see much because we're just getting the best weather to go around St Albans Head. We should be probably down there in a couple of hours. Catch up to that little yacht. Absolutely beautiful here. Flat calm, no wind. Well, maybe not a wind. It's about half past eight in the morning. All going good. Hopefully this calm and we go around the race. In fact, the wind which was predicted did not turn up at all. So when our gearbox broke, again, 
and our select leg didn't function and we had no engine power. We really was in a predicament. We couldn't get the wind, any wind, to push us around the corner past St Albans Head. Um, and with the tide against us, because we were a little bit early, um, we was in a bit of trouble and ended up having to get help. Yeah, once again. <laughs> so I come off the helm and, and this is why. We're being towed. We uh, lost all engine, because I think the gearbox has gone in the leg, something. Don't know what's wrong with it. Don't know. Some, it's yeah, leg problem. Um, so we were trying to sail around the corner, and in about an hour and a half, we went about, I don't know, a mile, half miles. a mile. I don't know, not far, because there's just no bloody wind, like three or four knots of wind. So we're. Uh, being towed, these we lovely gentlemen. Tied yeah, we've four knots tied against us. And these guys from the firing range have agreed to give us a tow. So this is it. Super nice, them. That's that. And I think they just took a picture of us, which is just great. Come on, no, now. <laughs> beep. Every beep will know. Yeah, I think, you know, the whole video's just been zoomed in, so we've probably been back close. Bye from him and bye from me. So we have had quite a learning experience again. So before we had rope around the propeller and then um, that was quite <laughs> that was quite an adventure with the R and I. And then we've had a uh, pulley break so uh, for our water inlets the water pump wouldn't work, we can draw water in engine. So we had to fix that on the move. And then uh, now our gearbox seems to have um, broke. <laughs> so this, this, the propeller's not spinning because the still up there is beep. So um, I've come off the helm for a bit because I've been on there hours battling to try and get round St Albans Head, which didn't get very far. There's like no wind. It all died up to nothing. Uh, maybe four knots, and then there was four knots of tide against us because we'd been there so long. So uh, we messed all that up. It would have very nicely been offered a tow after a nice gunnery boat who stayed with us the whole time, bless them. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite calm, really, in some ways, but it's, it's, it's okay weather. It's okay, just gonna take a long time getting there, isn't it? Because we're a big boat and they're a little wib pulling us along. So, probably gonna do five knots, but they're gonna take us all the way to Portland, I think, which. I wasn't expecting, I thought they'd just get us around the head and let us go to sail on, but there we are. So I'm making a well-deserved cup of coffee. Hi! With an audience. <laughs> All right, darling. Exciting, isn't it? Huh? We are going to Portland. We are. We're going to get lifted out and have to fix that select leg again, aren't we? Lifted out the water? Yes, darling. It's all good, the kids are all happy, doesn't matter. Dog's happy, doesn't matter. It's only money and time, it doesn't matter. No one's hurt or dead or sunk. <laughs> or anything. Bye for now. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So, this is a little rundown of the last four days. We left. There's my sister. And uh, had a nice sal problem free to Bowley River that went okay didn't it yeah it did and then uh, better than last time when it was really foggy yeah and then when we went to leave um, thank you the the uh in water pump thingy what's called it the, the sea water coolant pump there we go pulley. i didn't have to hold it and completely stopped working so no sea water pump where should i so sit next just to his back, his no back. So just before we was uh, going about to leave, oh sorry, 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 it all got a bit petong and you had to do some on-the-spot repairs, didn't you? Literally setting off to see if it was sucking water in, and yeah, I had to look like we had a spare pump complete that's just seized up, but the pump, the and pulley you can't was see me. good. So yeah. I just swapped that. Yeah, it took about half an hour. A bit stressful though. Yeah. When we we're just about to leave, and says you've got to be off by twelve. No, we wasn't, but anyway. Oh, so me. then we, you can come over here a bit, bud. So then we um, 
sailed to Newtown. That was okay. That was a nice sail. Bo um, wants to come in. Bo. <laughs> Bo uh, did a bit of sailing, didn't you, that day? You enjoyed that, didn't you? No, it was really fun. Was doing a bit of tacking, I think, and stuff. That was, that was not, not a big problem. That was a nice sail. And then a mm. nice little anchorage there. And uh, everything was lovely until we all got in the tent to take the dog to the beach for a oh. week. And um, that was a disaster. In quite strong tides and wind, actually, and the uh, tender engine died. Right, we think probably it's a bit of crap that's been dragged into yeah, yeah, car yeah, pressures, yeah, yeah. but um, we haven't obviously managed on the boat to strip the engine down, or we're just going to get some advice about that. So um, that was that. So we had to row. He nearly killed himself, thought he was dying because he got a stitch. It were a, it were a man stitch. It was definitely a man stitch. Out of one to ten, I said, I think he said it was eight. Seven. Mm -hmm. eight. Seven. When I get, eight. But when I get Seven. a... Um, they actually didn't even hurt as much. Right, and then we sailed to Paul, through the needles to Paul. Yeah. Now we're here. That was a nice sail, wasn't it? Apart from? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh, yeah. The autopilot. The autopilot. 1400-pound Ray Marine autopilot. Grand spanking oh, you. Oh, my God, yeah, that That's packed nice. up and blew some fuses and stuff. And Ray Marine are... Uh, a nightmare then to get all the Yeah. Every yeah, time you ring them, you just get food to America, and then they say they return your call, and then they don't. Yeah. So we're 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 chasing them. It's a bit odd, isn't it? All that money, thousands and thousands of pounds, and then it's faulty. So we've got to get that sorted. But that didn't stop you saying, obviously. So we sailed to Paul. Had a lovely anchorage there off of. Um, it anchored really well. Brown Sea like, Island. It was beautiful there. Yeah. And what's it like down there or something? That but was nice. We drag. Can I show you guys no, a picture? No, we never no, dragged. No, 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 we, no, it didn't. No. You did at that point, did No, no it didn't. Yes, it did. <laughs> no, it really didn't. Yeah. It's an ankle drag. Didn't drive. No. Anyway, so that was good. So we didn't move. So that was that was um, yeah, anchoring really easy there actually, and that was all well. And then we. Were what were that three days? Yeah, and we did lots of things, kayaking and exploring, oh, and if you like. And Get out two more out. Oh, it was time creeper. I can't believe I'm allowed. <gasps> Look how much we've eaten. Mice cakes eating mice cakes healthy. Ish. It's bread. Um, it's and then we left this morning powder. to. Um, sail to Portland Harbour and we was going to anchor here and then maybe come into the marina for a day just to get someone to have a little look at our outboard engine and on the way we got um, as far as St well nearly past Anvil Point nearly to only just past Anvil Point but yeah St Albans, Albans Head, Head. and our engine packed up I want the engine it with the select leg that packed up <gasps> It was rattling really badly, but I did say, uh, uh, yeah, it would be rattling, and I was like, it's getting noisy, so it's not right. And then uh, we couldn't obviously turn off the engines because we had hardly any wind. And we, missed the, we misjudged the tide. Well, we had, yeah, it was a bit early, so we had four knots of tide against so we us. Had wind and wind, no, it no was wind, with the wind, yeah. but against the tide, which rose to five knots of the end. But we only had about four, five, five knots, knots of about wind. About five knots of wind. Yeah, and it just kept dropping right. off to like nothing at most points. And I just couldn't get round the head. We've I try and try and try, but it was pushing me sideways across that shambled bar thing. Yeah, we got rather than we got nearly up to St Albans Ledge, mm -hmm. the race, and when we got way. near it, it just pushed us diagonally across. And we had it. the, um, what are they called, gun and boat things, what are they called? There's a firing, a gunnery range. Firing um, range boat. For the army, and it was the range boat that they come out because... It came out to tell us that we didn't it want to cross the range. They were, like, they were live firing. They and then we out. said, well, we might just be going across the engine and we're following the um, following the wind. And then... Um, oh, right, shh. All right, then. And then uh, they, stuck, they stuck with us for quite a while and I battled on for about, I don't know, an hour and a half, wasn't it? About a quarter of a knot, a yeah. quarter of a nautical mile. It was pretty pathetic. Yeah, just weren't going anywhere. It was There was more... Uh, tired than there was wind so we was like jogging on the spot yeah. and in the end they offered a tow would you like a tow? I don't think they wanted to give us a tow obviously but they offered a tow and was like oh right then I was expecting them just to pull us around the corner so we could catch the wind in once we were around the corner but they didn't they got no wind up were you were they until no. we literally got we got in the corner and there was still yeah. actually no wind and they just towed us all the way to Portland it was like, and they were really about... nice guys one was you... there was really which, nice guys which, yeah. which were about 15, Craig's a superstar. Six, six, just if he ever sees this, thank yeah. you, Craig, and thank you, the other man that didn't talk much was a bit grumpy. 
Thank you anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant. We've we ruined his day, I think. <gasps> Didn't mean to, obviously, but so, there's no sorry. way of knowing how still leg was going to break. That's Shout amazing. out to Craig! Huh? I said so sorry, if you're yeah. watch, 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 watching him. Yeah, Thank you. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, they were they were brilliant actually. They were about, really really they, helpful, yeah, really they told, nice. They told us about fifteen or sixteen not to come out. Yeah, they did, Thank and they and they told us Craig told us um, a guy here in the channel is Mike, is it? That's um, Mike, a fantastic mechanic, and he's already been down to the boat. Really nice guy. Really, and really he's nice. gonna have a look. We're getting lifted out tomorrow. It's gonna cost a fortune. Watch your tea. 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 Watch your yeah, so the whole ordeal the last okay. four days has been eventful. Mom, We've enjoyed it, but it's been a bit catastrophically Mom, bad in certain parts. No, darling. Please, the healthy one. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Bye. Bye. Keep Still tuned put, in. Still can put a thumb up, even though it was being... Bye, big, and if, if you really want to help up. us... And look how tired I look. Big subscribe, up. please. Subscribe. subscribe. Yes, give us a and thumbs up. And thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Big thumbs up. See you next time. <laughs>